everyone, it's Rebecca McAdam for Car Player TV and it's day two of the 10K Limit Hold'em Championship and the field is stacked. Big names still in include Doyle and Todd Brunson, Phil Ivey, Tom Duradwan and frequent 2010 WSOP casher Vladimir Shmelev. We caught up with Jared Ankerman who is sitting among the chip leaders. Ankerman co-authored The Mathematics of Poker with Bill Chen and is therefore someone who you could say knows what he's talking about when it comes to Limit Hold'em. And Jared, you started the day pretty well. How are you going in the event? I'm pretty good. I had uh, 51,000 coming in. Uh, I ran really well in the first uh, level and a half or so. Got all the way up to 130,000. Wow. Then lost some pots and now I'm down to like 88 at the break. Okay. Any big interesting hands? Uh, nothing nothing too good. I, I did put a bad beat on Jeff Lissandro, which, you know, is always fun. So um, I, uh, I check raised him with top pair. He had flop trips, and then I, like, rivered my my, uh, my top pair again. So, I, but, you know, no no great. No great, you know, big deal hands. Or, no big deal, just rivering people. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, you know, right? it's just, like, part of the game. You know? Well, do you specialize in limit? Because I know you won before with in mixed games, it was. That's right. I mean, I do play, like, a lot of limit games. I mean, it's not like I, I only play those, but, I mean... Definitely, I would say my strengths are um, limit games, like limit hold'em especially, and then the mixed games, and like that. Obviously, I won my bracelet in mixed games, and I have two final tables in limit hold'em events. So, I mean, I guess it's hard to deny that, like, I play limit games. A lot of people find it difficult to play limit games, the, especially people who play no limit. What does it take? Like, what's the recipe of a good limit player? Well, in limit, the idea is not so much to, like, win each pot or protect your hand. It's more to get more money in the pot when you're ahead and not so much when you're behind. And So like it can be frustrating for players who are used to like when they have the best hand they can sort of just bet their opponents out of the pot. You just can't do that in limit. And, and it's not really the goal. The goal is to get the extra bet here, the extra bet, you know, save a bet there. You know, not necessarily to fold to save bets because the pot's so big relative to the bet sides, but to just make sure that you're always getting the value out of your good hands and you're, you're always calling your opponents down so they can't bluff because bluffing is really profitable if you let them do it too much. They put in one bet, they win like eight. That doesn't happen in No Limit where people are betting half the pot or the full pot or something like that. Do you find that people, though, will call you and then get there in the end? That's what's annoying about the Limit games. Well, that, that's certainly part of it. And, you know, that's something that, like, happens in Limit that, you know, when a guy has 20% of the pot, he's going to get to realize that. He's not just going to fold. And so I know it's very frustrating, but, you know, on the other hand, like, you have to remember all the times that you had 80% of the pot and you won. You kind of overperformed. I mean, yeah, you're like, oh, I was supposed to win. But you were supposed to lose a fifth of the time, and you didn't. So you have to remember that you're storing up all those for the times that you do get beat. Well, are you saving up any more advice for another book, perhaps? Uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, the, the, the book was uh, definitely a labor of love, and, you know, we spent a lot of time on it. I, I, at this point, I have no plans to write another book, but one, one never knows in the future. You know, we might have some, some new things that we want to put out there or, you know, that kind of stuff. For now, you're just concentrating on the WSOP. That's right. <laughs> any more events you're playing? Uh, I'll be here for the rest of the month, so uh, all the way through the, the main event, I'll be playing, you know, whatever is um, up at that time, so... Best of luck and thanks for talking to us. Thanks. Stay tuned to carplayer.com for more video updates and live coverage from this year's WSOP. I'm Rebecca McAdam for Carplayer TV.